Hello my beautiful Cancer friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. I'm here with a love story and a reading for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It can't and won't resonate with everyone as a general reading. Take what's yours, leave the rest left a buffet table. So look at this, Cancer, in the recent past, you have been all about the passion. You have been fired up, revved up. Somebody has turned you on, Cancer. You are feeling fine as wine and you are going for it. So whatever it is that you have going on in your love life says that you will do whatever you have to to have a win in love the seven of swords card says that you're being very strategic that you know you want what you want you covet what somebody else has and it shows that you are very much look at when we look at the seven of swords this seven of swords is usually you know the tricky card the tricky dick card is what i usually call it but this it's a snake wrapped in flowers and it's taking the eggs that it wants. So it really means that you're willing to, you know, you know, be a little underhanded if necessary to get your passions and your needs met. Now, if it's not you, it could be vice versa. It could be someone doing that with you. The chariot card, you are more moving forward swiftly. That is Cancerian energy. Cancer, you've shown up in your reading. It's really a great thing to see. It's a very powerful reading when you show up with your own major arcana card. The devil energy, you are really turned on by someone. You are, whoa, Cancer. And this is a very physically oriented attraction that you have. There's something very interesting. King of Wands energy. So Leo, Capricorn, Cancer, um, Aquarius, and Sagittarius energy. Currently, you are having fun. The Nine of Cups. It's Pisces energy. It's all about just being in your fields, doing what you want, eat and drink, drink and be merry, spending time with friends, spending time, times with your lover. The Fool card, though, says that you want a new beginning in love, but you're also not looking at the warning signs. When we look at the Fool card, you know, in the Rider Waite, it's a little dog nipping and, and barking, you know, when you might step off the cliff. But in this deck, which I love uh, fiercely, it, the Fool card, is it's an alligator who's like looking up at the Fool going, ooh, I want that Fool. And uh, the alligator puts a little flower up here and you get distracted by the flower. So you are distracted, I feel, by someone's good looks or something that they have. We see this fiery king. It could be somebody who's in the performing arts for some of you because the king of wands is Leo energy, fifth house, sexy, fun, dramatic. Somebody who could be a firefighter, a man of action, an athlete. So it's going to resonate for everybody differently, but you are really willing to kind of really go out on a limb. It's kind of uncharacteristic. Cancer isn't typically willing to do that. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. So you have a lot of Pisces emotion about this. You know, a lot of hidden emotion, a lot of attraction. You definitely want to give your, your cup of love away. Queen of Wands energy says that you are looking fine. The Two of uh, Swords is reversed. So you have your eyes open. You're going in with wise, eyes wide open and you don't know what's going to happen. Very much the hanged man energy. I don't know, but for some of you, it looks like you're going after someone who is uh, has a lot of people around them that they're attracted to. Because tra yeah, I'm not seeing the formation of the relationship. This looks like the pursuit of a desire is what I'm seeing for most of you. In the near future, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. No real plans are being made. The Nine of Pentacles, you are fine as wine. You are happy. You're feeling good about yourself. So for some of you, this may actually be a conquest. <laughs> cancer, Cancer, Ace of Wands is reversed. So it does look like your, your desires are frustrated. The King of Wands is who we will cover in the extended reading. We're going to see why there's all of this sort of... It doesn't look like this relationship has come together. It looks like it's in formation. And, we, and the reason I say that is we have the Six of Pentacles. So there is a desire. 
uh, in the future for the two of you to have an equal give and take, you know, spend some time together. It's a date card. Let me take you out, buy you dinner, you know, in return, you're going to give me some of your beautiful company. Three of Wands. Whoa, Cancer. In the future, this is coming to pass. The Three of Wands energy is that says, hey, my ships have come in. And that's your future energy. And it looks as though you need to look really great when you're with this person. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of beauty shop time for this look. I love that. It looks like Frida Kahlo, which here we go again. Okay, I'll be right back. We have the Three of Cups energy, okay? So the Three of Cups energy says that you may have met this person through friends. You may see this person when you're in a group of people. It does speak to the fact that it does not look like the two of you are dating exclusively. So we are going to clarify. Okay. Okay, Cancer. So let's clarify these cards. Clarifying for Cancer. Let's see what we have here. Oops, a daisy. So in the past, when you were making this big, dramatic approach, look at me, I'm jumping through hoops, fiery hoops on a very fine thoroughbred. You were feeling very defensive, feeling like you have to stick up for yourself, wanting to stand out in the crowd that, you know, you look like you're at Cirque du Soleil. There's kind of a real performer energy here. The Six of Wands, winner, winner, chicken dinner, you certainly want a victory. And again, we have the Three of Cups, beginning and ending, sort of. So this may be somebody, a friend of a friend, and you're kind of in this energy where you're just trying to get their attention. You're trying to get their attention, and you'd like to work on a relationship. Okay. So why do we have the devil card? Are these that looks like the devil card actually in one of my decks? Okay, so let's see why you have the seven of swords here. What is going on with the seven of swords energy? Yeah, there's a lot of people who want this person. A lot of your friends want this person. I feel like this is almost like almost famous. You know, I'm gonna go out and meet rock stars and I'm gonna be with my friends, but I want to score. It really has that vibe, but at any rate. In a more mundane world that most of us live in, the Three of Coins says you may work with this person and you may know that they have a lot of people attracted to them and that they're single and ready to mingle. But you're trying to rush out and look at this. We have the, the Knight of Swords energy as clarifying the chariot energy. You are like Johnny or, you know, uh, Susie on the spot, Johnny on the spot. You are really going to compete for this person's attention. We have the Page of Pentacles. Now, you're going to make small moves. You're not going to do anything dramatic. You really don't want to be manipulated by anybody else. So you're going to try to not fall into the same trap. So it's almost like there's a bunch of gal pals and they're going after a rock star. I don't know. This is just really interesting. So it'll resonate maybe for one person, but it's it does look like your lover overall is all of these things even if they're not very, uh, you know, famous or well-known uh, in the public world. The King of Cups says that you have a burning emotional need and desire for this very fiery King of Wands energy. You really want this person super sexy to you. And you're coming in with your own energy of King of Cups, very reliable, very Scorpio, very smoldery, very sexy, you know, really... Um, coming in kind of quietly, being very mysterious. So why are you so happy? Somebody packed up and gave up. Wow. So somebody in this group of people that you thought was a competitor has packed it in and it makes you very happy. This person is focused on you and they haven't really reached out to you yet. That hermit card says that they're looking right at you. Uh, and, you know, you're very unaware of this because we have that big alligator down there. So we're seeing that you're very unaware. The Knight of Cups energy says that, you know, clarified by the Nine of Swords is you feel as though this person has not really given you much attention because we have the Page of Cups. Very, very little attention. So here you are, the Queen of Wands, looking at the King of Wands, uh, or vice versa, however it works. And, you know, both of you, that's a star card. That's a card of, it can be celebrity or somebody famous uh, or somebody famous within a certain genre. 
uh, of society or sect of society, but it really says that the two of you are not ignoring each other. The two of swords says, I may look as though I'm not peeking out from underneath this hat, but I'm looking very closely. But both of you are playing it cool. <laughs> the hanged man, not willing to step forward quickly. We have two hanged mans here. So what I'm seeing, Cancer, is you sort of put yourself in front of the person and hope that they notice you but you're you want them to take the lead and as the king of wands energy is they will okay the ace of swords truth be told you know you're taking a really close look at this person you're being very sly which i think is your seven of swords strategic okay so what do we have with the page of pentacles ah nothing's coming there's no communication right away the Nine of Pentacles says that your person looks as though, in your opinion, you know, they've walked away and they seem to be very disinterested, but they're not, because look at this. She is like looking very carefully. She has a little, you know, a little red, you know, it looks like an apple or a piece of fruit here to feed the bird. And so though it appears that this person is walking away, um, you, what you don't see is that they haven't, okay? Again, very interesting that you're kind of being very coy with one another. Let's see. The Ace of Wands reverse means that this person, nobody's taking action to reunite or to see each other. Um, it looks like in your outcome, that's your feeling of what's going to happen. But the reality is different because we have the Six of Pentacles. Look at that. Intuitively, you feel as though that when this person is ready, they will reach out and they will. So we see also the Three of Wands energy. Your ships have arrived, so this person is around you. But when we get the Three of Wands next to the Three of Cups, you still have people vying for this person's attention. And they probably always will. Strength card is with you. There you go. When we get the Six of Wands up here, yep, we got the Six of Wands there, the Three of Cups here. So you're in this the inner circle. What, whoever this person is that you wanted to get close to, it does look like you're on the inner circle and it looks as though you're going to become very aware of a lot of secrets. And I'm getting the Two of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Hierophant card. Oh my God. So that's crazy good. That is wildly good. So whatever stealthy conquest love journey that you're on, it looks as though you're manifesting it, Cancer. So this is a very, very complex layered situation. And I feel like, you know, both of you have, especially your person of interest, has a very, very uh, complicated life. Um, ah, beautiful uncaging. You're still locked in that cage. We have dream thief, refusal of the call, <laughs> cancer, and <laughs> spirit is suggesting that you don't pick up the phone right away, my friend, when this person gets around to calling you. <laughs> Give them a little bit of time to understand that they have to reconcile. They have to find you. They have to make it work. So I like it. Okay. Cancer, see you at the extended. If not, sending you love from Chicago. Thanks. Bye-bye.